In this video, I'm gonna show you 11 and a half recession proof side hustles you can start today. The first side hustle I must get out of the way. However, please do not underestimate it. Having a skill and just learning how to monetize it, AKA make money from it. So we all have skills. I don't care what it is, whether it's cooking, whether being a good student, whether it's being great with dogs, everyone has a skill that they don't make money from. You could be someone who's fit and you know way more about fitness and nutrition. You might be like me and you nerd out on magic tricks and you've learned many of them throughout the years, way more than necessary, I would say. You can start making money from this right now. If you're a good student, for example, you can start tutoring right after this video. Or if you're someone who's good at fitness, you can start coaching. My personal experience with this is being a close up magician. I started performing about five years ago and my first show I got paid a big check of $60 for the whole show which was a few hours long. Fast forward till today I gained more confidence, I have more experience and now I charge a minimum of $750 per show sometimes upwards of four figures and more. Now even though making an extra thousand dollars is laughable on the internet nowadays and any 10 year old can make that amount in their sleep personally I'm not complaining about making a thousand bucks for an hour of just me performing and having fun and trust me it feels so good and so fulfilling to be able to make money out of something that you're truly passionate about and that you truly enjoy doing. So after this video grab Grab a pen and paper, start writing down your skills. I don't care what it is. Ask yourself, how can you start making money from them? How can you coach people? How can you service people? Or how can you entertain people with your skills? And I promise you, you will find something that will make you money. And remember one thing, guys, what's obvious to you doesn't mean it's obvious to everyone else around you. Number two, TikTok content. The reason why I didn't call this just content creation is because this is a bit different and I want you to create content for other people. The beauty of this is that you're not gonna be the one who's buying the equipment and writing the scripts and filming or even showing your face. You're just gonna use someone else's content and post it on TikTok for them. So the way this happens is you find a creator, a YouTuber or whoever on the internet who posts long form content, AKA videos like these and check out if they have a TikTok page or somewhere where they post short form content. If they do, move on to the next one. If they don't, reach out to them and tell them, hey, I'm willing to repurpose your content so you can reach more people. And it doesn't have to be single creators. It could be a podcast you just enjoy watching and you watch it anyway, so might as well watch it and start clipping videos and just post them. But make sure you do that in agreement with the creators because then you would have copyright issues. And it's not that hard for you to land clients, especially if you show them proof of concept. Obviously, you must learn how to edit first and it's not that hard, trust me. Especially TikTok, it'll take you a week max to learn and there's plenty of information on the internet out there and after that you can find a client have him pay you monthly in return for you posting x amount of tiktoks per week or per month number three youtube similar to the previous one but a slower and harder process but can potentially be way more rewarding youtube is a beast on its own it takes a while before it actually takes off but once it does it can move from being a side hustle to a full-time business that's why you see a lot of full-time YouTubers, it's because of the opportunity YouTube provides. You see, once you have a certain amount of subscribers and watch hours on YouTube, YouTube starts paying you in ad revenue. The more views you get, the more money you make. Some people make over six figures a month just from ad revenue from YouTube. As I said, it takes a while before you get to that level, but once it does, it could be totally worth it. When you have a big enough audience, you can monetize in other ways, such as number four, and that is affiliate marketing. Guys, real quick, if you're enjoying this video so far, please do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, it would help me out tremendously. Now back to the video. This would be extremely difficult or near impossible if you don't have a following already, but once you do, it's one of the easiest way you can make money in your sleep. I'm sure you've seen YouTubers point you to the link in the description and tell you to buy the product from this link specifically and that is called an affiliate link some of these links are links for physical products links for online courses or they just sign up links to certain platforms now, every time someone purchases using this link the creator gets a percentage of that sale now imagine if you have 10,000 followers and thousands of them buy from your link imagine you have a million followers and 10,000 people buy from your link you can see how scalable this is and it takes zero to no effort from your end apart from creating the content and building the audience, of course. Number five, and that is Gary Vee's favorite and also one of my favorites, and that is flipping. Flipping is just you buying something and selling it for a higher price. You could buy things off of eBay, Facebook Marketplace, you can buy watches, you can buy cars if you have the budget for it, you can buy houses if you have that budget for it, or you can do like me and buy and sell NFTs, but this is one of the harder ones. I would say it was easy a few months ago, but nowadays it's become so much harder. If you want to start your flipping journey, I recommend you start with physical products. You can easily find local garage sales. Go to the garage sales, look at something that catches your eye, look it up on eBay and filter it to see how much it's being sold for and then decide if you want to buy it 
or not. Here's a quick story about how this helped me a lot. Two years ago, I quit my job to pursue just YouTube and I had some money saved. After a while, I didn't have any more money saved and rent was coming up. So what I did was I went to a website called ctbids.com. It's an auction website where people sell things they don't need anymore. So I purchased a few items, sold them on eBay for profit and was able to afford rent for the next two months. Even though this is underrated, I'm not saying you should quit your job and just pursue flipping as a full-time career. I recommend you doing this after your job or on the weekends for a few extra hundred bucks a week. Number six, graphic design. If you have any interest in designing things or you're half good at it, I recommend you pursue this one because it could be very, very easy money. A quick tip is go to canva.com, create an account. This can help you a lot in your graphic design career. After that, you have to find work for yourself. So what you do is go to fiverr.com, upwork.com, or any website where you can find job postings or where you can post your job description to have people find you and hire you. Another platform that is underutilized that you can use is Twitter. On Twitter, go ahead and search graphic design help or looking for a graphic designer. I'm sure you'll find someone who is looking for a designer where you can provide your services to. With that, the best way to build trust with a client you wanna work with is show him your past work. So make sure you design a few things before reaching out to clients because personally, I look at someone's track record and portfolio before I hire them for a job. What you also can do is reach out to local businesses, offer them your service to create a logo for them for free, and then you can add, tell them that you wanna create their banners for them for the future or their social media posts. Really, sky's the limit with this one. Canva would make your life so much easier with this. A 10-year-old can use Canva and create some decent designs. And if you already know Photoshop, then this puts you at an even bigger advantage. Number seven related to the previous one, and that is YouTube thumbnail designers. There's absolutely no shortage of YouTubers who need help designing thumbnails. If you're someone who can help them do that, great. However, to stand out, if you try to learn how thumbnails work and what the best thumbnails look like, so you can help them not only design, but also plan and strategize and make a video according to this thumbnail, then you can really be a valuable asset to any YouTuber. And with that, you can charge more than what the average graphic designer makes because all he's doing is designing what he's being told. You, on the other hand, are helping to plan and strategize the thumbnail as well, which you are contributing more towards getting the YouTuber more views. Number eight is car slash home rentals. If you have an extra room or an extra apartment somewhere you're not using, you can rent it out on Airbnb and make some nice cash flow every week or every month. Also, if you have an extra car laying around, which you don't use much, or if you're someone who doesn't use his car very much, then you can rent that out on a platform like Turo for extra income every week. So instead of having a car as a liability, it can become an asset. The beauty of this is that it requires minimal effort from your end. Now, obviously this can be transformed into a full-blown business. You can purchase multiple properties and list them on Airbnb, or you can even buy a whole fleet of cars and rent them out on Turo. But obviously you have to start somewhere. So start Starting with one car to rent out on Turo, understanding all the ins and outs can not only make you money, but gives you the experience necessary if you want to expand sometime in the future. Number nine is sales. Sales is a skill that every person on this planet should learn. Life at the end of the day is all about selling. At a job interview, for example, you are selling yourself to the person who is trying to hire you. If you get a sales job, what you could do is learn the skill of sales while also making money from it because the only way you can learn how to sell is by actually selling. A very important tip for you guys is that try to sell something that is very expensive because most of these jobs are commission-based. So the more expensive the thing you're selling, the more money you can make. For example, if you're selling something that is worth $100,000, you're gonna make way more money than someone who is selling something that is worth $500. Number 10 is social media marketing agency. Every person under the sun is talking about this and is a professional at this. Even though this is a very scalable business model, every business out there nowadays requires online presence if they want to survive. Most business owners do not have enough time on their hands to run ads or to learn how to run ads or to have an online presence because they're too busy running the business. And here's where you come in. Now, even though this is oversimplified online and they teach you that you can go up to the business, tell them you would run Facebook ads for them, and then you can hire someone, pay them less than what the business owner is paying you, and you can pocket the difference. But keep in mind, guys, at the end of the day, it's your name that's on the line out there. And if you hire someone you don't really trust and you don't really have the necessary skills to supervise them and to know that what they're doing is right or wrong, then it's your name that's gonna be affected and not the contractor that you hired online. So keep that in mind. Before you actually jump into this, make sure you learn Facebook ads, learn copywriting, learn all the skills necessary to be able to run a social media marketing agency and then start hiring people under you. And then you can start scaling up and eventually have an 
amazing cash flow business. Number 11 is becoming a moderator. There's a lot of communities on the internet nowadays, specifically on Discord, that need people to moderate the chat and make sure everything is running smoothly. Discord is magical once you get used to it. And the beauty of it is that once you get your first moderating job and you can be good at it, then you can find another and another and another, and then you can stack those weekly or monthly paychecks. A step above this could be starting your own Discord moderator agency where you hire people to moderate servers and then you can moderate as many servers as you want. Now, side hustle number 11.5, go to upwork.com or fiverr.com and look at the job postings and what skills people are looking for. I can guarantee you that if you search long enough, you will find something you can do. And if not, this can steer you in the right direction to give you an understanding of what skills are needed so you can start working and learning them. So these are the 11 and a half side hustles of this video. I can name another 100, but this video would be more than an hour long and it would leave no room for you to get creative. So make sure you don't restrict yourself into these 11 and a half side hustles only and go out, explore, think about your skills and go find something that will give you extra income. It can be needed soon.